Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my homemade squishies that I made recently. If you guys would like a tutorial on this, comment down below and I will do a tutorial on how to make homemade squishies. I make it a little differently than other people do, so yep, let's get started. So the first squishy that I have here is this homemade bread loaf and the back is painted like super terribly, but the front has my like logo kind of thing and then it has my channel name. Then I have this like random cake um, and the bottom is not painted, but yep. it's supposed to have like a rainbow flower inside with some drizzle on the sides to make it look like fancier, I guess. So next I have two animals. So I have this bear one and I have this bunny one. So here's the bear one. It is just outlined with some black um, puffy paint or fabric paint. And it has a little heart emoji or face, heart emoji face. And I have this bunny which has humongous eyes and is outlined with pink and it has a little flower that I painted on. It's super soft. Next I have two pies and you guys have probably seen this in one of my videos before but it's this blueberry pie. And this is like one of my favorite homemade squishies. But it got some green paint on there, and I'll show you why in a bit, but... And then I have this one with the pie logo on it, um, and this was my idea because, I don't know, I was just like kind of bored and I didn't really know what to do with this one. It was originally just gonna be a pumpkin pie with the same like whipped cream and stuff on it, but I decided to just put the pie logo on it. So next I have this gigantic reef, and for some reason my camera doesn't pick up the color green that well, but it's this huge reef squishy, and I made this during the holiday time, so... And it has like little like ornaments, I guess, um, which is just little circles of puffy paint. Because of this, um, some of the paint actually got onto the other squishies, which is why there's this little green mark on here. That's from this. Um, as you can see here, the paint has been peeling off. So next I just have like flowers and like flower cakes kind of thing. So first I have this gold flower, which I think is really pretty. Um, and it's not completed yet, but... And then I have this one, which has little white and purple dots on it. And it is a pink cake. And I actually really like this one. I think it's super cute. It has a really soft texture as well. And then I have two twin cakes. Um, so here is the cake. So this one is a regular yellow cake with pink frosting and sprinkles. And this one is a pink cake with white frosting and sprinkles. But... Next, I just have a couple random squishies. So I first have this pudding, just shaped like a bear. I actually really like this one. It's a really nice stress reliever. Feels really nice as well. And then I have this random moon, which was actually made from a scrap piece, um, but I didn't want it to go to waste. So the back is not yet like covered with these silver glitters, but Here's the front. So next I have this random star and for some reason this one has like a sticky feeling to it. I think it might be because, um, I actually don't know. The puffy paint is just like really, the puffy paint is just really sticky for some reason and I don't really like the way this one is designed to be honest, but yeah. So next are Reese's Cup inspired squishies, so here's this one. This one's super soft. And then I have a mini one. So I probably should have showed these when I showed the smaller pies. So first I have this great one. And the mini pies are probably my favorite of homemade squishies. Cause like they feel so nice and they're pretty. Like they give up a pop up unlike the other ones. And I just really like the overall designs that I chose. And then here's this one, and the heart itself actually glows in the dark, and this is supposed to be like a cherry pie. As you can see here, it gives off a pop-up. And it feels really airy. 
I just really like the mini pies, so these are actually inside of my room. I keep these in my room. Um, and they're great for stress relievers, like honestly, it's like the best. So that's why I keep these in my room and not in my squishy boxes, because I really like these. So next I have three cupcakes, and this one is a mini one, and this one is not yet completed, as you can see there, but um, yeah, this is just a plain vanilla cupcake with a little strawberry and pink frosting. And then I have this chocolate cupcake, which was actually the first squishy that I made, um, first homemade squishy, and I don't like the way this one looks really, but I do like how it feels, super like airy, and it does give off a pop-up. Like there's a lot of air, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a lot of air in here. And then the last cupcake is the probably the best looking cupcake and this is the watermelon one that I made. Um, so it's a standard vanilla cupcake with the same gray liner and silver glitter. And then I just painted on a watermelon design. Super soft. And then the last category are just sand dollars. And if you don't know what a sand dollar is, I'll put a picture, but they're really pretty like I have no idea what they are to be honest, but um, <laughs> um, I'll put like a definition if I can find one as well. So, um, but these are what sand dollars look like. This one's actually incomplete. This one is the completed one, as you can see there. That green um, thing from the reef is also on here, which I don't really like. But you know what can you do? So this one is like a purple, black, and white themed, um, and I still need to paint the flower design on it. And then here's the last squishy. And this one has a fully painted design and I made it so that it looks more matte and it feels kind of powdery. And they are just white on the back. So that was my first homemade squishy collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to see more of my homemade squishies, um, I will definitely do more videos. Just like up this video, comment down below if you want to see a tutorial and the next squishy collection, and I will definitely do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!